Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they have a 2015 Chevy Colorado, and I really wanted to look at one of these, and I, I, I called uh, Lee, and he said they had one in, so, um, so here it is. Uh, this is the 2015 Chevy Colorado. It has a four-cylinder and a six-speed transmission, and I'm impressed. I kind of looked it over, and... Um, it's a pretty good, well-planned out truck, and it has a good size, too. It's not like a big monster truck, and it's not like a little itty-bitty thing, either. It's, it's kind of like a really good size vehicle, um, at least for me, anyway. Your, your preferences might be different. So here in the front, we've got some projector headlights and fog lights. I'll have to check on the window sticker and see if they're halogen or what they are. alloy wheels now um, they're 17 inch wheels by the way just look at the overall stance of this truck and the way it's shaped and I was when I pulled up and looked at I looked at the pictures but basically uh, when you see it in person it, it just has a it's pleasing to my eyes anyway. I don't know about you, but I, I really like it. So here's the key fob here, and basically uh, it has to be locked. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up, because this one has a remote start. You push the lock button, then you hold down the, the, the start button there. So now that it's started, I can unlock the doors. We'll take a look on this side here. Here's the inside of the door, the, the passenger door. You can see it has a little pocket right here. A little tiny separate one here. I'm not sure why they, they separate that. Maybe there's a reason. And then you've got a bottle holder there. And then down here is another little tiny pocket. This one kind of looks like a cell phone holder. Um, it's about the size of an average cell phone. Unless you got like a phablet or something, then you can put it down here, I guess. And this is hard plastic, this is hard plastic, this is kind of soft here, soft, very soft there, this is kind of hard. Now the seats are a combination of power and, um, and the, the back of the seat is controlled here so it's a combination of power and manual adjustments. And it is a gray leather interior and um, well, you know, it's kind of like a gray and a black mixed. There's a glove compartment, which is pretty good size, really good size. And then this door, this is a four-door truck, but this one opens up the suicide way, is what they used to call it. And it's a little door here. Makes it easier to access the inside, so that way you don't have any center bar. It's completely opens up and you can you can access the whole vehicle right here but here's the inside of the back door and as you can see from the seats they are made for a smaller person or a child um, I don't think I can I probably could fit back there for a short trip or something but I don't see me driving back there for a long period of time but here's the the, the door here you got a bottle holder and you got a handle on a speaker and um, so it's pretty minimal but you do have a window so you can see in and out so you don't get too claustrophobic. Of course, you've got the window there. So let's see. Let's back here. Little tiny seat. It does have a headrest. It does have the latch system. These little connections here for a child seat, child safety seat. And then this rear looks like yeah, that looks like a cable for the anchor for the child seat. And they are leather seats as well. So I bet you I need two hands to lift it up. Let's see, I'll pull this, lift it up. Okay, so now it lifts up and locks in place. That little strap is how I did it. And uh, there's like a storage space underneath the seat here. And which is pretty interesting. Not sure, I'm not sure this looks like the headrest can go here. I'm not really sure what that, it sure does look like the headrest can go there. I'm not sure. Maybe you know. If you can let me know, I'd appreciate it. Um, but anyway, got, it looks like got some storage underneath the seat here. And this flops back down. And then you've got some cup holders. And uh, all kids have uh, portable devices now, so they 
good job in putting some USB ports for charging back here as well as a, a regular charger and then a little pocket right here and I'm trying out a new camera today so uh, let me know if you can tell a difference I don't know if this is gonna be a my new camera or what for my videos but just kinda tell me you know how it looks audio too very important audio and video alright so there's the rear view mirror We've got some chrome on the back of it you can see my new camera and I don't have my normal uh, fig rig with me so I forgot it so I use this um, basically a monopod as a little bit of a give it some little bit of stabilization there All right, so let's move back here. You can see the truck has a little bit of a slant to it. It kind of gives that traditional uh, pickup stance. This is the LT trim. And I'll, cop I'll copy and paste the whole window sticker in the description so you can kind of look through all the options if you're interested. All right, so looking back here, I see something really cool, and that is these steps right here on the corner. So basically, so you can step up there it's designed, it's on both sides, it's designed to where you can lower the tailgate, which slowly drops on its own. I don't know if you caught that, but I'm going to let go, I'm going to lift it up, and then I'm going to let go of it. You see it slowly lowers, so that way it doesn't come slamming down. So once it's down, basically, you can put your foot here and climb up in the truck. Uh, a lot easier than just trying to make that first jump there on the back of the tailgate and this has some height to it so um, it's not like a like I said it's not a little itty bitty truck but it's not a monster either this one has the a plastic bed liner that they the dealer has added but you can get it with a uh, without a plastic bed liner you can you know spray in bed liner or whatever you want so back here well hidden is the backup camera some people call it the reverse camera and uh, we'll take a look at that while we're in the truck it is a locking tailgate which is very good and I'm noticing it doesn't have LED lights it has a uh, like a regular light bulb there but I wonder if it's because of the trim maybe so let's take a look at the gas cap and it does have a gas cap right there and it looks like they've got another place here and uh, usually when they have two places like that is for a DEF uh, fluid so I wonder if they're gonna have a or if they already have a diesel option in this truck that'd be interesting all right this side rear view mirror has a little separate adjustable for kind of help you with the blind spots all right here's the inside of the driver's door you got the same pockets basically as the other side it's basically mirrored on this side and um, so then you got your your power windows it's not going to work because the key's not on but let me go ahead and put the key in still have to even though it's running you still have to turn turn the key on and turn everything on so here's the power windows let's see if it's yep I just push it one time and it goes right down and lift it up one time and it goes right up so I don't have to sit there and hold my hand on there uh, to roll up and down the windows side mirrors uh, you can adjust them right here pretty basic on pretty standard power locks and this one, same thing, uh, part of the seat is electric, some of it's, uh, this is a lumbar support, by the way, but this is the, where you make the seat tilt forward, the back of the seat there. There's your dimmer switch, there's your, it does have automatic headlights. Now I like the way vehicles now have the, the, uh, the floor mats, how they snap in place, because I really can't stand when floor mats roll, slide around on you and they just uh, really gets annoying. Alright, so let me hop in here, make a slight adjustment to the seat.
right and the seats pretty comfortable I, I got some good back support and um, it feels like a firm seat it's not too soft and like pillowy all right so here's the steering wheel and it is a this one has a leather wrap steering wheel with stitching on the inside there's a Chevrolet logo and your cruise control is on this side basically make sure that it's turned on and there's a little indicator uh, on the, the gauge there that turns on and off uh, when you push that button just make sure it's on and then you can set the cruise control and then on this side looks like you've got some voice recognition options and uh, your volume control and change to the stations and uh, basically you can hang up um, a call right here too and I like the way they got this little grip thing here going on a little bit of thickness there and it gives us kind of a sportier look and uh, I like it there's the gauges now this one has the controls you've got your tachometer here your RPMs and your regular um, speedometer on the right and then you got gas gauge temperature gauge but there in the middle is a uh, is a little screen there and that is controlled with these buttons here so like so I'm gonna push menu and I'm gonna kinda go to vehicle and then I'm gonna scroll down with this little thing here and get some more information tire pressure battery voltage engine hours transmission fluid temperature you see you get a lot of information there so I'm going to push menu again and it's going to go into your fuel economy and I can uh, basically you can while you're driving you can get a, a re real time uh, estimate on what you're getting on your your gas uh, fuel mileage pushing trip again uh, pushing menu again over here takes me to the trip and uh, I can scroll down and there's trip one trip two and then you've got a range so uh, average vehicle speed timer navigation no active route so and then default basically is your speedometer there so that's a neat little screen that has some good information and uh, right here where it says E that is uh, the vehicles facing east and the vehicle has 192 miles on it all right see there's your key there's your windshield wiper controls on this side now here's your um, like a big screen here and this is kind of like your your vehicle computer and uh, right here that has all these icons sort of like on a desktop on a computer you have uh, different icons that you can choose and um, but this one you know similar uh, concept uh, right here 54 degrees that's the outside temperature it's a little bit cool out and there's your clock so I'm gonna go in the audio icon and kind of see what's here so this one's got a uh, AM AM let's see here there's your presets on your AM exit there go to browse up oh, the same thing I'm going to hit the back button down here. Let me see right here. See what this does. Turn the setting. Oh, oh that's your audio control. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to push menu, radio down here. Change to the stations XM, FM, and, X, and uh, FM. AM, FM, and XM. <laughs> Getting tongue tied. So it's got satellite radio and then a regular AM, FM radio. Uh, satellite is free for a certain time. I don't remember what it is with the new new vehicles on uh, the Chevrolets, but you do get a free uh, window of opportunity to listen to it. All right, so I'm going to hit the home button and go back to your icons. Phone. This is where you once you pair your phone, you have your contacts, uh, your recent calls. You'll have a keypad pad to make calls, and uh, you can use your voice that voice button there. And this one right here basically to you can push the button and say call a certain person in your contacts as long as you're you're um, saying it like the, what's in the contacts voicemail I don't have any experience with that so um, I'll have to refer to anybody in the comments that know and then you can have multiple phones uh, paired 
Now I wonder, I'm not seeing on here, and there could be a way of doing it, uh, is there a way to transfer it back to your cell phone once you're in a call? It might pop up once you're in a call, I'm not sure. Alright, so let me hit the home button here. Uh, OnStar Nav, um, I guess, like, say you would have to select an a active route, call OnStar. I'm not really sure. I don't want to call OnStar and, you know, activate anything here, so I'm kind of, kind of skip this section. Pandora, this is where you have uh, play music through a, a internet radio station called Pandora. And I'm not sure if it connects to your cell phone. Pandora on your cell phone or as it has its own individual uh, connection. I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell me if you know. I'm right, pushing home. Text. Apparently you can text message through here. I guess it's probably voice uh, recognition. You can say certain things and text people without actually taking your hands off the wheel and your eyes off the road, which is good. Because <clears throat> that's the way a lot of people keep, uh, keep up with each other through texting. Alright, so there's the main highlights there. And uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, those are your presets for your radio, I believe. There's a volume button here, uh, like I was using the home button, the back button, the radio, and uh, the media. Now, the media, I'm gonna push that button. Right now, I'm just gonna hit devices. Basically, the media is where, like, you once you pair your cell phone with the Bluetooth system, you can uh, play music directly off the phone. You can also play music off this USB and auxiliary input down here so that way it gives you other options uh, to play music through the system alright so down here we've got um, some climate control and there it kind of shows on the screen what I'm doing and um, so there's the fan speed there and you can turn it on and off here's the temperature I can set it to a certain numbers up there and it's also right out there on the knob and I like the way it has the bright uh, blue and, and red there so it kind of gives you a really clear indicator of what knob you need to touch to get the temperature down while you're driving. Down here is where you want the air to blow, uh, front and rear defrosters, the recirculation button and your air conditioning button. I'll turn that off. Got a traction control button here and here's a cargo light button which is pretty cool you can turn that on and your cargo light so on and um, I don't really have the ability to show you at, during the day too much but at night time uh, I'm curious to see what it looks like now this one's got heated seats and you can heat the the lower part of the seat or the back of the seat and that's on both front seats here then you get a little pocket kind of small pocket it's not big enough to put a cell phone or anything in um, it's kind of kind of small I'm not sure maybe a few coins or something but um, iPod I'm not really sure what if, if it was a little bit deeper it would probably be a perfect place to put your cell phone alright so in addition to the USB port and the auxiliary input you also have this, uh, this power supply here it's a 12 volt power supply got some storage space there and kind of do a zoom out here because I know I'm getting close in and it's disorienting sometimes. So right here I'm just down this way and I'm moving my way towards the shifter. And the shifter is, uh, you know, just kind of a regular shifter. It has a button on the back side here to change gears and it has two buttons here on the side to shift through the gears. But I'm going to go ahead and just put it in reverse just so we can see what this backup camera looks like. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's not super clear. Now the lines there will move as you're as I'm moving the steering wheel to give you an estimated trajectory of the truck as it's backing up. And basically you can see the tailgate, the bottom of the tailgate there, and and the the bumper, and this will go all the way up. It's a wide angle lens, sort of like a GoPro camera. So it gives you a really good view. Really handy for backing up trailers and also really handy to avoid running over stuff that happens to be lying on the ground. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in park. And then you've got the, your cup holders here, pocket there, and then this is a armrest that lifts up. And here you've got a, um, a big storage area 
and the USB charger there so that's pretty handy and there's a place there for putting your wires in and out of this compartment in case you need to run wires in there very deep pocket storage pocket all right so let's go ahead and look underneath the hood This is the uh, four-cylinder engine here, and it does have a VVT system, and if you're not familiar with that, you should check out uh, me and Matt's video, What is VVT? Um, ask the Engineer Student video series. It's a quiet engine, and it doesn't look like a little tiny four-cylinder in there pretty good. Sorry about the strap being in the way. Alright, there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to leave uh, Judd Coon's uh, contact information here in the description so that way you can contact them um, about any questions as far as pricing and stuff like that or um, rebates and all that good stuff. So um, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.